Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Coletta. This show is called Let's Talk. So the first thing I want to talk about is Beyonce. I know the beehive is probably going to come attack me, but it's okay. So I want to talk about Beyonce and Jay-Z with this On The Run tour too. I'm kind of like having mixed feelings about it because the tickets are like really, really high. Like people are paying $3,755 for a ticket. Like I think that's a bit absurd, you know, because y'all not going to do no meet and greet. Beyonce not about to chill. Y'all not about to eat. Y'all not about to play patty cake or no hand game. So I don't know why it costs that much. The second thing I have an issue with this tour is because nobody is talking about Beyonce on Messy Maya estate for the the lyrics that she stole. Like, what happened to that? Because if you could charge people $4,000 to come see a tour, you could pay Messy Maya estate her money. Point blank, period. I'm just, you know, a little tired of artists coming down here and like stealing our culture because I'm from New Orleans and we have a lot of, you know, heritage and culture and we do things way different from how other people do things as far as our music, our dance, even our language. We have our own little slang that we use down here. So I hate when people come down here and take advantage of of our culture and then they put their name on it and then don't give nobody any credit for it. Like they just made it up and that's not cool. So that's why I said, let's talk about it. So beehive. Anyway, moving on. So the next topic is this tour called love jam. Um, I seen K Michelle post a flyer up about this Love Jam concert they're supposed to be having. It's supposed to be K Michelle, Escape, and R Kelly. And mm, I don't think that's kind of like a good thing to be doing right now, since R Kelly, like you know, had all these girls in his house. Like, let's not forget about that. Y'all sure y'all want to like have him at the concert around mothers and their young daughters? Like, I don't think that's a good idea at all. He still haven't even made a public apology for the shenanigans that's been going on. And I don't think that's cool. So let's talk about it. The next topic I want to talk about is the Kardashians. Now, I personally love, like, love, 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 love. From Kim to Kylie to Courtney to Chloe. <laughs> Matter of fact, this lipstick is Kylie. This is Kylie lipstick. But anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, Chloe is pregnant with Tristan's baby. And I mean, it's all cool and everything. I'm for the first baby or whatever, but Tristan had a whole girlfriend that was pregnant with another baby that he doesn't even claim. Like, I don't think that's cool for it to be gone said about this whole other baby that he had with his baby mama before he even got with you. Like, why nobody not talking about that? Because that's not cool. You're walking around, you know, thinking everything is all good because you got this baby bump and, you know, another junior, blase, blase. But you can't sweep the first baby mama and her baby underneath the rug like that didn't happen because it did. So let's talk about it. So like, subscribe and hit the share button on this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Because I would love to talk to you guys and get feedback. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at C-O-O-C-O-O, -O -O, the number four, K-I-N-G and A-N-D, Eli, E-L-I, on Instagram. As always, it's a pleasure talking to the family. I love you guys. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video.